Hi everyone, Steve here. Well, I've got another video for you today. Um, I'm down at uh, Kenilworth Grounds at Bluff Creek and um, I've run into an old mate. Uh, he, he builds a And, well, he builds our teardrops, and here it is here, a Benjamin. So, here he is, here's Mark. Hey everyone, how you going? Mark from Travel Bike Campers. Yeah, we build teardrop campers, we've been building them for nearly 12 years, we on more than 400 vans. Um, we're really happy with our product range at the moment, we've got eight different vans at the moment on our product line. We've got the Adventureman line, which is more of the blokey style teardrop, and then we've got our Travel Bug line, which is um, more of the touring vans. And um, yeah, really happy where they're at. And Steve is going to show you around this one. This is our Adventureman Trekker. Weighs in at about 630 kilos. Um, beautiful little van with the back wing awnings and uh, roll out awnings. Um, can have water tanks. And um, yeah, beautiful mattresses. The best thing about these campers, airflow and mattresses just make these things stand out on their own. So Steve, I'll show you around and uh, you can have a bit more of a detailed look. Yeah, well, I um. What I should say is, I actually purchased my first um, actual camper trailer. Was or oh, I went, to, I had a camper trailer, and then I was looking for something else because I bought a smaller car. And uh, we happened to be going through Warwick at the time. You were situated in Warwick, and uh, my wife said, "There's a great little company here that I've read on Facebook and YouTube and stuff about building camper trailers." So we went and talked to Mark, and we ended up buying our first yep. teardrop off you, and we still have it. Yep, little Dixie. I'm, little Dixie, and uh, we love it. We actually took it all through Central Australia um, to Ayers Rock. We went to Cameron's Corner. We've been up to Longreach. We've been everywhere in it, and it's. It's modified it, now. It's modified from when I originally bought it, but uh, that was only stuff that I wanted to do. The, the trailer itself was plenty capable of doing what it, what it was built to do. But Mark's evolved like everyone, and uh, you've changed your trailers and come up with new ideas over the years. And um, he's got a terrific product. It's all Australian made. Yeah. You build it in your own workshop in yeah. Noosa now, is it? Yeah. Uh, cool and Beach. Cool and Beach. Yeah. So. Um, Look them up on their website. I'll put a link up here yep. to their um, Facebook page, is it? Or we have Facebook website, website, and yeah. Channel. And um, I'll put that in the description. So check them out, and we'll go around and have a look at this trailer. Yep. So we'll start at the front here, eh, mate? No worries. So I see you got a solar panel here. Yeah, so yeah, obviously yeah. you've got all the solar gear built in, all. Yeah, the solar connections are all in place. Um, uh, predominantly, a teardrop runs on 12 volts. So in there is a 120 AGM battery. Um, it has a 240 volt charger installed in this one, which we'll quickly show you. We'll have a look in here. This is, this is a larger box of the two boxes that we have. This one can can sit the porta potty in there. But here he's got. That's a good a, idea, isn't it? Like it's out of the road. Yeah, and plenty of storage. Bit bit messy here at the moment because we're camping. But um, 120 AGM, a few ports and stuff on this sort of this sort of battery box. This is your um, your 240 volt charger for when you've got. Um, Got 240 volt power. So when power. you've got it at home, you can just plug it in just and plug it in, and charge up before you leave. Yeah. Um, most folks in their teardrops get 240 volt installed in the van, so they can plug in at a caravan park, and this one will already be plugged into a 240 volt there. So literally just plug into the caravan park and just forget. Yeah. You know, you, you, you know you're going to power forever. Um, mostly we run LED lighting, and um, yeah, it's a pretty cool little concept. Yeah. Um, this particular one has a rollout awning. On the passenger side yeah so this is what he's talking about here this is uh basics like pull out awning but this is a two and a half meter pull out this is the latest one by 230 it's the heat sink technology so that's in. that black technology yeah. in it so it's really uh, i've seen it on some of the lifestyle overland in america they run 230 and they've got a, a rooftop tent yeah. and he was talking about and he got inside and it was absolutely black but it was no heat there's no heat it's uh, about nine or 10 11 degrees cooler inside than outside so they've applied that technology to these rollouts so therefore the heat penetrating through underneath it is just virtually non-existent it's fantastic yeah. um, but you can put a room under that so therefore on this side you can have your room with it gives you your private place and and a bug proof, snake proof room, you know, yeah. underneath here. Yeah, so yeah. all our camper trailers have the big windows. We're all about airflow. 
you know, a mattress. Yeah, well, I know on our on Dixie you were using these, and um, like we did to Cameron's Corner in ours, and really we had bugger all trouble in dust. Yeah. Like um, you put the uh, little exhaust fan in the top there, and we even found sometimes, you know, if you turn that on, yep. it pressurizes the inside and and keeps the dust out. I mean, I'm not saying do it all the time, but. Um, but we had no trouble with dust getting in. Like you get a tiny little bit of dust around the seals here sometimes, yes. but nothing, nothing major. Like no, no. Um, really good. Um, I'll just show you underneath here and show you what he's. They're really solid looking wheels there. Yeah, these are um, sort of Land Cruiser six to Land Cruiser pattern. And do you can you cater for people with different if they want different wheels or things, or is this a standard thing now? No, we tend to just stick with the fifteen inch wheels. Yep. Um, if we go any bigger the dumbbell end weight of the axle gets too extreme yep um, so we try to make the, the smallest lightest wheel possible that does the job yeah so this is like a lot of r d and and perfecting how it toes Many and years, yes. yeah yeah, yeah. From, yeah. From, from watching the market yeah so underneath here are like really heavy duty spring solids uh like square axle which 45 is 45 square axle big u-bolts this is a this is a five leaf um, soft ride off road type of spring with um, anti flappers on the top. Does the job really well. These teardrops only weigh in at 600 odd kilos, and we've got, you know, we've got 1200 kilos suspension underneath them. So yeah, so they're very over, over. Like you, you've put in a lot of uh, tolerances. Yes. Yeah. We uh, build all our own frames in house. So yeah. So you build all the total, all the chassis and everything. Control. Yes, they're all Galvo yeah. chassis. Um, very very happy with them. Where the drawbar runs right back here, it supports the spring hanger, it doesn't chop short across here like a box top. Yeah, I it. noticed when I was under there, you're like, you've got a really good uh, underframe, like a channel section, has it? Like yes, well, this, this one actually has a centre spine, partial centre spine, um, just to stop any drawbar flexing, so could not be happy with this model. We're about to actually revamp this model, instead of having the chopped bum, we're going to give it its full bum back here again yep. so that the fridge can be on board. This one, this particular model, doesn't have an onboard fridge because it's mainly meant for four-wheel drives that have the fridge in their motor vehicle. But we're going to change this back again and the fridge can be in the back and some drawers and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. yeah. So the folks were just saying, this is really cool, but they would rather rather have the, the usage of the... Um, of the space back there yeah yeah well i might duck my head in this side here and you can go around the other side and i'll show them inside while we're here so look in here like um very spacious like you gotta i, I was looking at this mattress here earlier i'll just i'll just pull it up um you actually buy these like like look at that that is unbelievable i think i might uh jump in here tonight and <laughs> <laughs> yeah no pretty cool like that in this particular one we have cupboards they're a shallow cupboard, but you just try fold your clothing. Um, normally there's a fan here. Oh, I can't reach that one, but it's exactly, it's the, exactly same. the same. Is the elect any of the electrical in there or um, your fuse yeah, box? In some already? of our models, the fuse box is in there. This one, there's not. No, no. This is a very simplistic wiring harness, yeah. this one. So there's a fan there's up a in the top there. Reversible so. fan. Um, Lights in. Oh, look at that. Fabulous lighting. Um, that's not in every model, but it can be. Um, normally you have a Sirocco style fan here, directly gives you some night flow, pulls the air in from the outside. 19 inch television, windows, we can do air conditioning, reverse cycle air conditioning. Oh, air conditioning now. if you want it to, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, really yeah, so there's a lot of options you can go with. You just you yeah. just got to talk to them. And, we have, um, this and you got your fire extinguisher there, that's part of the yep. regulations. Yep, um, this is a battery bank style lighting. Um, there's just a rechargeable lighting system. We've got these overhead pockets. They're un unbelievably great fun. Yeah, look at those. Little um, ambience lights. We've got little and lights here. Up out and and little toilet. cup holders. Yep. Yeah. So pretty cool. All the yeah. Of home. And full queen bed length. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got a bit of height with you, you yeah. can. You still got plenty of room in here. And all your roof and your front. And and, and, and this is all insulated yeah, too, isn't it? Fifty mil thick earth yeah. insulation. This panel here is actually a solid panel. That's a bolt-on panel. Oh, okay. So you can bolt max tracks, um, shovels, axes on the front side of that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I'll go around the other side here. Yeah, see this panel here, this is a solid, solid timber panel. Yeah, and, that's uh, good, isn't it? Like, yeah, so... And, and I noticed on one of the other campers we got here, they've got a bike rack on the front here too. Yes, we... Uh, so you can put extras on there? Yeah, we can put the push bike on there. We just move the spare into the side. Yeah. Um, this one, the windows have got locking positions. 
so you can sort of lock your lock you in. And the beauty of these windows is you can open and close them at night if you need your airflow running across. Yep. Uh, this one's got protection panel along the yeah, side. Yeah, to stop the stones and that if yeah. you are on a bit of a well, rough yeah. road. Stand on like, guard. like I understand these trailers, I mean, they're not realistically you wouldn't be driving them to the Cape, would you? No, these are, if you probably drew an imaginary line from Cairns to Adelaide and you're on the eastern side of that. Yeah. They're probably really good for that. But if yeah. you're going north of Cairns and, and you know, really bad corrugated roads, you probably need something more more made for that yeah. style of camping. But these are made for people who um, like want simplistic camping yep. and um, they want something, like the beauty I found with mine when we first got it was you could hook it up, you could, you know, drive to a destination. If you're feeling a bit tired, because you've got your bed and everything in here, you've got all your gear stored in the car, yep. you could just jump it. Even if you just got a table and a couple of chairs sitting on your yep. bed, you pull them out, you throw them down here, you jump in bed, and you're off to sleep. That's the beauty of any teardrop. You can actually use the teardrop on your journey. Yeah. Where a lot of other camper trials, you have to get to your end destination. And set, set up. up. Where this one, you can, as you said, there's a river, there's lunchtime, sick of driving. Mm -hmm. Over you go, and and a, a real touring camper, like yes. in the in the sense of touring, yeah. and coupled with these, this is our twenty three zero style of um. I love these because lighting. these just fold out like one person can put it up. This is a three minute, not yeah. two minutes. Yeah, it's and, and it's freestanding. Like you don't actually need these poles. No, you can he's, take the pole. He, he's just got those in there because he's got the wall kit up because we've had a little bit of showers and that here and yeah. uh, stopped the wind blowing in. Yeah, uh, these ones come with walls. You can. Enclose yourself completely if you want to. Yeah, so, have onboard water tank. I, I'm amazed at how much room you've got under here. Like, yeah. like this is comparable to any caravan or. No, it's good. And yeah. when it's coupled up with the awning out that side, because the because the wraparound goes out 500 mil wide in the van, you have a direct access into the the other awning that's heading out the other side. Yeah. So side. once you pull that one out, even if it was raining, you pull the other one yeah. out. And you still got plenty of room to sit here, yep. and um, you know you got a great little kitchenette area here. Yep. Well, it's only a basic system. This one, we just have some bin arrangements underneath here. We have some overhead cupboards through here, yep. um, which we haven't sort of utilised at all at the moment. Not on this trip. No, no. Um, this particular van has a very simple simple wiring harness system. It literally has the battery in the front and it runs up here to a, like a little thunder box. Yeah, so you just got and and that's a good idea. Like if you want to just check the voltage of your battery, you've got yeah. it up you've got the access up here to do it. Yeah. You've got USB points so you can run your fridge. Yeah, it's got an Ando there if your fridge has got an Ando plug on it. Um, and it's got a readout and it's fused up. So and, and sometimes some of the simple ideas are the best, aren't they? Well it seems to work good for us. I yeah. Mean, that's what that's what we're all about is just being able to go away because Cheryl and I are time poor yeah. and we just that three day weekend is really important to us and uh, to be able to just pack up just quickly, literally, I hook it on the car, most of it's prepped ready, I take the basket out of the fridge, take it into Cheryl and say right fill the basket, Yeah. that's your job. Grab the clothing off your bed, yeah. throw it in the teardrop, yeah. and then and, and away you're and off. Away you go. And, and anyone could do that. Like, uh, and you know, you you got all this light portable camping gear, like your yep. gas burner stoves, your little table, and it's all going to go in the vehicle. Or like this will fold down flat, and you could just throw it on the bed, couldn't you? Keep that on the bed. Most of the rest of it just goes in the back of the forby. Yeah. Um, but that's what we're all about. It's just the most simplistic but comfortable mm. camping and safe. Yeah, and, and being the weight of this trailer, um, mm. a small SUV or even a small car would pull this. Medium car would yeah. pull this particular model, but some of the other other models we make are more designed for smaller cars. Smaller car. cars, yeah. So he does have a, a bit of a variance in the models you build, don't you? Yes. So if you want to look at that, check out his uh, Facebook, mm. his website, give him a call. and. Um, yep. And he'll be able to sort you out. Yes, we're 12 years strong and getting stronger. Yeah, well, good on you, mate. It's good to see an Australian company doing so well, especially in these times. Yes, well, I mean, we're, we're in we're in um, Warwick for for eight years, nine yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And then we decided to move to our other home we have here in Coolum. And um, since moving here, the business is just exponentially just. Yeah, I know you were saying to me you're fairly busy, fairly booked out, but. Um, it's always good to know another place to go to for i got a lot of people that like their camping and yep. looking around so um check out mark i'll put in some links on where he is and uh thanks very much mate it's been great talking Thank with you again you. and great meeting up Thank so you. hope you enjoyed that great camper thanks very much and we'll don't forget to like and subscribe it helps out and we'll see you on the next one